so student this time i'm taking the question if ax square minus 2h xy minus ay square equal to 0 represents a pair of straight lines forming with 2x plus 3y equal to 6 and isosceles right angled triangle at the origin then 12a square plus 5h square plus 5a plus 12h plus 60 is equal to and your options are the first option is 1249 second option is 1294 third option is 1429 fourth is the first option is 1249 second is 1294 third is 1429 and fourth is 1492 student we did in the last session the similar type of questions so you can solve this question also by using that method but right now I'm solving because already you know one of the method how we will solve it so right now I'm solving this question by using an another method so student in this situation the pair of lines makes an isosceles right angled triangle with this line and right angled at the origin at that time in the previous question we did the same type of questions but at that time the point is different from the origin it's something alpha comma beta or 3 comma 4 like that but because of these two lines passing through the origin so we can start with let y is equal to mx be one of the line which represented which is represented by the equation ax square minus 2hxy minus ay square is equal to 0 this we will suppose the second equation now because of this line subtains an isosceles right angle triangle with the line 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 it means the angle between this line and one of the line will be 45 degree that is 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 isosceles right angled triangle so line 1 makes an angle angle which is plus minus pi by 4 because of it is in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction subtends plus minus pi by 4 with the third line whose slope is minus 2 by 3 because of the equation is see 2x plus 3y equal to 6 and the slope of any straight line whose equation is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is minus a by b so minus 2 upon 3 so this is the angle and this is the slope now slope of the first line is m so we can say here therefore using the formula tan theta is equal to m minus minus 2 by 3 upon 1 plus m into minus 2 by 3 this we can use 
this is equal to plus minus 1. Now here it is 3m plus 2 divided by 3 minus 2m. Now to replace this plus minus sign to eliminate the condition we will do squaring both sides and we will bring 3 minus 2m on the left side. So it becomes 3 minus 2m whole square is equal to 3m plus 2 whole square. Now, now from the first equation from here y is equal to mx. So m is equal to y upon x. Now from the first equation the value of m we can substitute in this by eliminating the m we will get this 3 minus 2 into y upon x whole square 3 minus 2 into y upon x whole square is equal to 3 into y upon x plus 2 whole square is equal to 3 into y upon x plus 2 whole square. Now we will simplify it. It becomes 3x minus 2y whole square is equal to 3y plus 2x whole square and we will expand it. We will get here 9x square minus 12xy plus 4y square is equal to 9y square plus 12xy plus 4x square. Now we will transfer each and everything in the left side. It becomes 5x square minus 24xy minus 5y square is equal to 0. Now if you compare a student this equation with the given equation that is equation number 2 you will get its same the form it will be in the same form and hence you can find out the value of a and h see this one and this one are same in place of a it is 5 in place of h in place of 2h it is 24 so by comparing with second we get a is equal to 5 and h is equal to 12 because 2h is 24 so h is equal to 12. Now we have to find out the value of this 12a square plus 5h square plus 5a plus 12h plus 60. So now we will write here 12a square plus 5 h square plus 5a plus 12h plus 60 is equal to. Now we will put here the values of a and h. The value of a is 5, h is 12. So 12 into it will be 5 a square plus 5 into it will be 12 a square plus 5 into 5 plus 12 into 12 plus 60. Now we will calculate. So it becomes 25. 25 into 12 it is 300 plus 12 square 144 into 5 it is 720 plus 25 plus 144 plus 60. Now, by adding all of these, you will get finally 1, 2, 4, 9. And hence, using the option, 
one two four nine is the first option so the answer is so option first is correct option and the student the second method was the previous one that we did in the previous question what we did I'm just again explaining you in very short manner see we did that time the equation of the line because of it is a perpendicular so we'll write it ax square plus 2hxy plus minus ay square equal to 0 because it's passing through the origin at that time it was passing through the point something else so this is equal to 0 and let y is equal to mx will be the one of the line then second line automatically it will be y equal to minus 1 upon mx now because both the lines y equal to mx subtend some angle with this and y equal to minus 1 upon mx subtend some angle with this which is the same angle which is the pi by 4 now we will equate by using the condition that if two lines subtends equal angle with the third line then by using that condition we will find out the value of m once we get the value of m then we'll use the condition m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h upon b by using that one we'll find the value of m1 plus m2 and we will substitute in this equation in place of 2h upon b and you will get the whole equation once we get the equation once we will get the equation now we will now we will compare this with the given ax square minus 2hxy minus ay square equal to 0 and we'll find out the value of a and h and rest are same after that by using this so and so and the second method is here in front of you so student you have now two methods to solve the same question and uh, I'm advising you that uh, solve the previous question by using this method also solve the previous question by using this method and then write your comment on the comment box that you got the solution and you will get the you got the solution and you got the same solution whatever the method you used now student I'm taking another question so the question is the lines joining the origin to the point of intersection of 3x square plus lambda xy minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 and 2x plus y minus 1 equal to 0 are at right angles for lambda equal to and your options are the first option is minus 4 it means lambda equal to minus 4 the second option is 4 that is lambda equal to 4 third is 7 and the fourth one is no value of lambda means the value of lambda does not exist now student the question based on the lines joining the origin to the point of intersection of this curve and this straight line so to get the equation of the lines joining the origin and point of intersection we will make homogeneous equation with the help of this so first of all we will write here since given line is 2x plus y minus 1 equal to 0 so from here you will get 1 equal to 2x plus y and this is your first equation now the given curve is given curve is here 3x square 
minus lambda x y plus 3 x square plus lambda x y minus 4 x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will make this equation as homogeneous equation with the help of this equation number 1. So to make it we will write here 3x square plus lambda xy minus 4x into 1 into 1 plus 1 square equal to equal to 0. Now in place of these two 1 we will substitute the value from the equation number 1. So it becomes 3x square plus lambda xy minus 4x into 2x plus y plus 2x plus y whole square is equal to 0. Now we will simplify it. It becomes 3x square plus lambda xy minus 8x square minus 4xy. Now we will simplify this equation and we will get 3x square plus lambda xy minus 8x square minus 4xy plus 4x square plus 4xy plus y square is equal to 0. Now this 4xy and this 4xy will get cancelled and finally you will get 7x square minus 8x square it is minus x square plus lambda xy plus y square is equal to 0. Now student you can see here the coefficient of x square and the coefficient of y square sum of these two is equal to 0 for any value of lambda. It means this equation will represent always represent a pair of perpendicular lines. For any value of lambda it means lambda belongs to R. So lambda will be any real number. Now we will see the option. Lambda equal to minus 4. It is a real number. Lambda equal to plus 4. It is a real number. Lambda equal to 7. It is a real number. It means the first option, the second option, the third option, all of these three are the correct option. Hence, we can write here, so option first, second and third are correct option. I hope student you understand the question and I hope also that in the first question you will solve it by using the second method as well as the previous also the previous question in the previous session we did that question also you will solve by using another method. Thank you and goodbye.